Good morning, good morning. It is day 307 of from here to Jerusalem. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. Sean the stick is here. Sean the harp is here. Oh, Jerry the stick is here. <coughs> Sean the harp is here. My good self, Anya. Uh, it is just after seven in the morning. I'm walking to the bus station in Nish to go back to Rezanya to continue walking back into Nish, which will take about three days normally, but while I was in Nish for the past week, a little bit longer, I think it's nine or ten days by now, uh, I've walked one day definitely, maybe even a little bit more, but I'll do two days, come back to Nish, and then we're heading on to Sofia. Oh yes. So it's a beautiful bright morning. It's cool. It's, uh, it's not warm, that's for sure. Uh, it will warm up during the day. Uh, it'll be a bright day. It'll take me about three quarters of an hour to get to the bus station. And uh, there should be a bus at quarter past eight that'll bring me back to Rezania. And I can start, I can be on the road, back on the road by nine again. Nisha has been a very uh, good place for me. Of course, my friend Marcel from Amsterdam came to visit me. I struggled a little bit with the resting. I couldn't settle. I suppose that's only normal after 10 months of uh, wandering about. Yeah, I'm gonna go do this. Get through morning traffic, get out of here. <laughs> go see uh, a bit of, so again, uh, the reason I got stuck in Hazania was that I felt overwhelmed. Marcel was on his way. Uh, the distances are quite long. So I have nothing under 24 kilometers. And like the other day, we were gonna do 15. The route was 23, we ended up doing 30. Do you know, 30 is really on the long side for me. Now I've gotten rid of some of the weight in my pack. Marcel has taken away about three and a half kilos for me, uh, which is really good for me. But then I pack my side bags and they're still very full. So I'll have to eat more. <laughs> I'll have to eat more. Uh, but it feels better than it did. I don't feel like straight away that I want to collapse. I'm gonna try this, see how it goes, take it from there. Okay, let's go get myself to the other side of the road. See you later. I just was dropped off by the bus exactly where I left 10 days ago, Rajan. It's actually called Razania. There you go. I, I will never learn. I will. Why not? Rajan. Uh, got the harp. Got Jerry the stick. Yeah. Let's go walk to Alexi Notch. It's a beautiful day. Um, I'm not very warmly dressed, but I've been sweating a lot. I've been very uncomfortable physically. Uh, I get very warm, very uncomfortable. Uh, there is a route that goes through the muck, but I'm thinking that I might just follow the road. I just want to walk now, uh, get this done and over with. Alexi Notch, here we go. And said, no change my soul of love and bravery Thy songs were made for the pure And free thy shall never sound in slavery Thy songs were made for the pure And free thy shall never sound in slavery The minstrel 
So today for me is like perfect walking weather. It is about five or six degrees. So it's cool. The sun is shining. It'll go up to about 15 degrees now in the afternoon. And uh, it just feels great. Like cool air on your skin, feet on the road. Ah, this is the life. And this morning, I, yesterday it started, I, I started to get like really quite uh, worried again and thinking that, oh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm strong enough. Uh, the pack does feel different, but it feels great now that I'm here. It feels great. Why do I worry like? What is that about? There is real fear in me somewhere. <sighs> yeah, real fear. I wonder where that comes from. Because there's no need for it. Then I get a day like this. Do you know? Okay, I'm closing in on my first stop. I've nearly done uh, 15 kilometers of this uh, of this part, I think. I'm coming up to that, 13, 14. Uh, it's getting warmer. It's about midday, just after midday. The farmers are out. They're doing work in the fields. I've seen some odd things. I've seen a man with a rake that looked medieval, like, uh, yeah, and cow skin, like a cow, just the skin of a cow in a ditch, <laughs> not far from where these people were working. I mean, okay, I'm seeing some things that I'm not used to, but it is, it feels like spring, obviously they all agree, and uh, work has started. There was a woman uh, in a field putting in seeds by hand uh, and these guys are working away in their house and I'm going to keep on walking. I'm looking for the petrol station which is about another two kilometers and hopefully they will have coffee. Whew. Uh, 
I uh, get stopped by uh, Jasmina. Jasmina is clearing uh, plastics from the ditches and uh, she says, uh, are you walking? And I say, yeah. Are you really walking? And I say, yeah. And here the road stops again. Can I get out of there? No. So I have to go up here. And uh, we're talking. And she says, nah, you're not going to Jerusalem. And I say, I am going to Jerusalem. And yes, I am walking. And she says, can I make you coffee? So coffee, harp. Her daughter was also an Anna. We're chatting away. There's food. And now it's late. And I'm back on the road. And I have another 10 kilometers to do. And this is what it looks like. Okay. Now. Those are the meetings. What it's all about. So. She originally comes from Godina. Godina, Godina, and married into a family around here, Deligrat area, a bit further. Ah, and now I need to see can I get to Alexi Notch in time before the sun sets. Okay, the wind is kind of cold, but I don't want to put on more clothes because I'll be sweaty in a little. And uh, I'm feeling very, very grateful today. It's good. Thank mm -hmm. you.